Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best there. So look, I'm a fan of all-in-one PCs because they're pretty easy to use, they don't take up that much space. And when HP hit me up and they said I can choose any computer on their website, and trust me, I was about to go wild and go pick some crazy gaming computer, but I went with this one because it's more practical and I think a lot of people can really see something out of this computer that they may want to use. So I partnered with HP today to kind of give you a look at this HP Elite One 800 all-in-one PC. And so this computer just really fits in anywhere. So you can put this in an office environment or at your home. And because it doesn't take up that much space, you don't have a big tower to put on your desk or underneath it, it's gonna be able to be really flexible. And to put this thing together is pretty simple. It comes in one single box and you have three pieces. And so you put the base of the stand with kind of the, the neck of the stand. And so they just kind of pop together. And you have a couple of screws that you just need to tighten with your hand. And then you put the main PC down on the screen side and then you just pop that stand right there on the back and it snaps into place. And then if you ever need to break this thing down and just move it somewhere else, you can just press a button and then that will detach the stand from the back of the PC. And when you get this all put together now, you can move the computer up and down. And then also too, you can rotate it left and right. And you can also tilt the computer forward and backwards. And so all of this allows you to kind of prevent glare from hitting your screen. Maybe you have a bright light over you, but you may not have to worry about glare and things like that because this screen is a 1080p LED display that does have a matte finish on it. So it's gonna be very very resistant against glare and reflections. Um, and now this is not gonna be the absolute best display that HP makes, right? Um, it's only 1080p, only runs at 60 hertz, but I think the colors and things do look nice on it. But if you do want like a, a higher refresh rate screen or just better colors, you do have other options. Um, but one thing I really like about the display is that it has very little bezels around it. So it's like you're just looking at all screen in front of you. And then at the bottom of this computer, you will find some integrated speakers. And the speakers are okay about what I expect, but you do have a couple of audio inputs right here on the side so you can plug in some headphones or also a microphone. Oh, and speaking of ports, you'll find the rest of them on the back and the bottom of this computer. So you'll find six USB type A ports. You'll find one single USB C port. You'll also find an optional SD card reader at the bottom. And also too, you'll find HDMI and display ports. So you can extend this computer to an external monitor if you wanted to. Now I did find that getting to the ports are a little tough because you can't really see the ports that you're trying to plug things into normally. But as I said before, you can rotate this computer and you can even rotate it all the way vertically into portrait mode. So now you'll be able to clearly see the ports, but also portrait mode is just cool because you can go into the display settings and then change it over to portrait mode. And now you can have Windows 10 running in that mode. And so I find it easier to kind of read articles and things like that in this mode and just kind of cool to be able to display things like this. But one thing you should know is that when you are trying to rotate it, make sure the computer is all the way up on the stand and also to you rotate it towards you. So you lift that chin of the computer towards you because if you don't, you'll run the risk of hitting the desk when you try to rotate it. And trust me, I didn't read the directions and I did that multiple times. So don't be like me, lift it up, move it out. Now this next bit is a little bit of a throwback because check this out. Like I may seem overly excited for this, but I haven't seen one of these in so long. I haven't used a DVD drive in years, uh, but you do have the option to add a DVD drive on here, a DVD burner, or also to a Blu-ray drive on here. And uh, one thing though is not the, you know, not the strongest thing here. As you can see, it does wobble a little bit. So you have to be careful when you are pulling this thing out. And as far as specs, this particular computer has a ninth gen Intel Core i5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM inside of there. And then also you can upgrade this as you please. And depending on where you buy, you have different configurations, but I mean, you can put up to an Intel Core i9 processor inside of this, and also you can upgrade the RAM up to 64 gigabytes. And speaking of upgrades, I mean, an all-in-one computer isn't like the best ideal way for like upgrading the processor all the time and stuff like that. But I think upgrading the storage and the RAM is going to be the easiest things to do on this computer. And so you can upgrade the M.2 storage, and you can also upgrade the RAM yourself as well. Uh, but at the point of sale, you might want to look at what you really want to get from this computer and go ahead and configure it that way. Just because of the nature of the build. And when it comes to the performance of this computer, it will handle your everyday things with no problem at all. Now this computer does not have a dedicated GPU, but I still found when I was editing some videos, some 1080p or 4K video, it was still fine. And I was just using like the built-in video editor, uh, but it was still fine. But if you are trying to do some very intense editing and stuff like that, or if you're even trying to do, you know, some gaming on, on some AAA titles, um, it may not be ideal for that. But for most other things that I think people are gonna be using this computer for in the office or at home, I think it's going to be rock solid. And I almost forgot about this next thing because it's hidden away right now, but this does have a built-in webcam that when you press down on it, 
boom, it'll pop up like that. So this is great for privacy. So you don't have to worry about somebody creeping in on you uh, when you're not really using the webcam and just having it sitting up looking at you. So now when you're not using it, you can just kind of pop it away and just keep it hidden. And this is the sound and video quality that you can get from this built-in webcam. Now I'm always personally an external webcam type of guy, um, but this is what you're getting. And I think besides that, this computer comes with a wired keyboard and a wired mouse, pretty basic things, but this is it. This is the HP Elite 800 all-in-one computer. Very simple, clean, easy interface. I really like all-in-one, so yeah, I think you can tell about this video. But um, yeah, as far as like pricing, I don't wanna really say that because it can um, depend on where you buy it. So I'll just leave a link down below in the description so you can check out the information about this computer and see what configuration that you wanna go with. Um, but yeah, like always, I do wanna thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.